Cajones, yes, and you actually just go by AQ, like I that's do. what you it's tell everybody to call you. Yes. Okay, and you are the new chef at LTO, which is in the Trinity Groves area. If you haven't been out there, you got to check it out. And basically, what they do at LTO is they kind of rotate chefs. Like they they basically take the restaurant and then they stick a different chef in there for a period of time. And you're up. Yes. Are you ready? I am. I am. <laughs> She's I'm going on my in the mix. So week, you're making okay. this gazpacho for yes. us today, which is perfect. I love a gazpacho for the summer months because it's a nice way to have soup but not have it be too hot. Yeah, I think, I mean, I love soup and I'm a big fan of it, but okay. in the summer it can be a little bit overwhelming. Right. Um, we have a lot of fresh ingredients that go into this gazpacho. Okay. You can uh, change it up if you'd like with different ingredients. There's a great watermelon gazpacho that um, we can use instead of the avocado, but okay. this is yeah, nice and, and creamy. Going. Let's see um, what is in here. So we take a lot of mostly green ingredients. Mm -hmm. So I have avocado, poblanos, bell peppers, cilantro, and tomatillos. Okay. Um, and then you just want to get a nice fine dice on these. Okay. And you just take the seeds out. Like I said, if you want to do a watermelon gazpacho with these same ingredients, you would just switch the green bell peppers okay. to red so bell peppers. So just get something a little bit sweeter. Yes, yes. That sounds yummy. And so what's sort of the whole vibe of what your menu is there at Kitchen LTO? I call it modern Mexican. And what it does, it just takes a little bit of traditional ingredients yeah. and make them a little bit more modern. So okay. instead of having like a... Uh, traditional chicken enchilada sure. with a green sauce. I'll do a crab enchilada with a poblano cream sauce. Now are we going to be putting all this in here? Yes. Okay, you so let's go ahead start up. Yeah, let's just make sure we These get through it all. Tomatillos. Okay. Tomatillos. Red onions. Red onions. Does the garlic go in? Mm-hmm. Okay. okay. The garlic. A couple garlic. big cloves of garlic. Okay, cilantro. You all this cilantro? You putting all this? Yes. Yeah, oh, really? Okay. Okay. So cilantro rice. Cilantro, yeah, you I love want that. a nice Perfect. green. Okay, are these jalapenos? Where's Those this? are uh, poblano peppers. Poblano peppers, okay. What is this? That is our garnish. That's oh, the okay. micro cilantro. We won't cilantro. put that in there. No, so that's the garnish. Okay, okay. And then so what about the juice in. here? Yes, you want to put your lemon juice. You add just a tiny bit of bread, and what really? that does is makes it nice and creamy. I would have never thought that was Maybe bread in So it makes it a little thicker? Okay. Okay, what else do you add? Some, some water. Some water. So this smells great already. For six months, has it uh, been crazy? It's been really <laughs> busy, but I mean, that's a good problem to have. Yeah, so. no kidding. That whole area is hopping. Yes. And the, you know what was interesting? The one was out there recently, and we went one restaurant to dinner, and then we hopped on over to another one and for that's dessert. that's the great thing about and Trinity the, the, And they got these great patios. All the places yes. have different yeah, patios and stuff, so it's, yeah, it's fun. Okay, avocados so we're in there. Two avocados, and then you just want to. Mix and that's it, it right? That's it. I mean, so we're gonna put the lid on that and, and basically just blend this all up yes. together. And then this is the final product. That is the final. Look product. at that beautiful color. That does look really pretty. I think people, guests, would be very impressed and by this. Soup. We should mention before you did this, you actually were teaching. I was. I was a high school teacher. Really? Yes, yeah, a culinary arts instructor. And I love. We found out some of her students. Are now working for her. Yes. Oh, All right. Yeah. Now she's oh, the I boss. Anastasia the real boss. Quinones, thank you so much. Thank you so much for having me. The recipe is on our website, which is fox4news.com, so you can try it yourself at home. We'll be right back.